The last three and a half weeks have been a lot and I've been feeling pretty overwhelmed. I have moved house and have been still dealing with a difficult landlord in the previous house. I adopted a puppy three days after I moved, which is not something I would ever do again. That being said, he's cute as a button and I adore him, but it's been a lot to try and unpack a house and toilet train a puppy and exist with a puppy. Uh, I've just, you know, forgotten how much energy they have in those moments where they're switched on and um, I forgot how much energy they require in terms of training them and adapting them into life and I was used to a very chill, sedate, elderly dog and it's it's been a lot. In the last three and a half weeks we've also been to Sydney twice which is a three hour minimum drive each way uh, and lately it's been more like four with the roadworks. So that has kind of knocked out about 10 days and he's been desexed and I've had procedures and oh, and we're not fully unpacked still because of how much time I've had to put into the previous house even though it was pretty immaculate um it's just it's been a lot and i haven't really read anything unless you count finishing the last hour and a half of the lenny kravitz um autobiography i think off the top of my head it's called let love rule um and i listened to that while i finished listening to that while i was gardening and i just kind of felt pretty meh about it um i hadn't written anything either because either because I wasn't like physically in the state where I could find all my things uh, in order to write. And part of the reason why I haven't uploaded a YouTube video in ages, um, although you will have seen one or two by the time this one's uploaded, uh, is because during the moving process I lost the little connecty thing that lets me upload the images off a SD card onto my computer, so that was fantastic. Um, but like, I, I just, if my life's been chaotic and I haven't had time to read or the energy to read. Um, and anytime I sat down with a book, the puppy started eating the book. Um, and I certainly haven't had the energy, willpower or the equipment to write. And I would like to turn that around. I am going to do a quick book haul with you because otherwise the puppy is going to eat these books if they remain on the floor any longer. Starting with the lyrics by Paul McCartney, I love the Beatles and I love Paulie and in my house I refer to him as Uncle Paul um, because my niece used to fall asleep to Blackbird and I used to be the one who was able to get her to go to sleep most easily and I used Blackbird and it was one of the first things she tried to say slash sing um, and she used to request it all the time so I call him Uncle Paul. So we got Uncle Paul's book um, and I believe this is kind of like the history of all of his songs including pictures of original lyrics. So while this one is shall we say an investment uh, hopefully I'm going to really enjoy it because I love Paul McCartney, love his work, love all of his work. If you've actually read The Hunted and A Night Rises, there is a pretty significant reference to a Paul McCartney song called Calico Skies, which I love. Um, so I'm going to enjoy going through these two books. The next one I got is Robin D'Angelo's Nice Racism. I read... Uh, Robin's um, White Fragility. I listened to that as an audiobook and I found that to be a really educational experience and I am trying to find more books that will open my horizon and educate me about experiences that are different to my own. I worry when I'm writing say queer or trans characters that um, that I'm not doing it justice because that's not my experience and I worry that like, I, I want it to be clear that they are whatever they are because I want the people who are reading it to feel as though they are seeing characters that represent their experience of life in the books. So anyway, I'm probably not articulating this very well because I'm very tired 
because I have a, a puppy that woke me up before dawn the last few mornings and um, yesterday I had to drive for five hours so um, we'll leave that discussion for another day but that is kind of why I am looking into books like this and trying to skew my reading more in in the direction of um, like LGBTQIA stories and um, people of color stories because I am obviously trying to educate myself I am also trying to support those authors and I am just trying to find stories that are different to my own and just see how people tackle them um, for my own education and enjoyment. The next book I bought recently is Garth Nick's Sabriel. I don't know anything about this book except that it is a fantasy book and the girl at the um, bookstore was in love with this book. I just thought it was a cool cover and I wanted another fantasy type book to read. Burnout by Victoria Brookman caught my eye because I really struggled with burnout last year and so I opened it and discovered it's actually um, more of like a fiction work so I thought that might be interesting and yeah that's pretty much the extent of that one. And then I got Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. Recently I fell in love with Alexis Hall and I've ordered one more of his books and I just saw this and was kind of hoping that it might be um, oh, I'm opening it now and it's a comic, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, I did not notice that when I looked on Goodreads, but that is totally fine. I just want to experience different stories and I noticed the coming to Netflix um, sticker and I've been trying to read books before they appear on Netflix or at the very least after and I have been doing very badly at that lately. So um, at least given the fact that this is a comic style book I should get through it faster. So that's my recent book purchase from Sydney and I'm pretty sure I can hear the dog eating the seedlings so I am going to go and deal with that and then get started with the writing and reading that I want to do over the next two days before I head back to the Wombats on Monday. That noise was actually my lunch burning. Oh man. Hey Rafa, what you been doing fun? Woohoo! Hi! Hi! What you been doing, hey? What you been doing? 